I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to properly install and adopt Unify APs in your network. The first thing we need to do is download the Unify controller software. Navigate to www.ubnt.com forum. Under the Ubiquiti Unify page, you'll see stickies for different release versions. For this demo, I'll be using version 2.1.0. Scroll down the page until you see the download links and select your operating system. Agree to the terms and conditions listed. For those of you using a Linux distro, Ubiquiti provides a Debian package with instructions for installing on the release notes page. Now run the installer. Before continuing with the adoption, you'll need to make sure that your controller is running on the same subnet as your Unify AP. In this demo, I'm using the Ubiquiti router to connect the two devices. Because of its DHCP functions, it will automatically assign IPs to both the controller and the Unify AP. However, this can also be accomplished by directly connecting your controller to the LAN port of your Unify's PoE injector, or by simply connecting the two devices to a Layer 2 switch. In either case, you'll need to assign yourself an IP address that will let the controller talk to the Unify AP, which has a default address of 192.168.1.20, with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Now open the controller software. If this is the first time you're running this, you'll need to make some quick configurations. First, enter your language and country settings. Now select the Unify AP that you want the controller to adopt. Any adoptable APs will be listed here. Next, enter your SSID and assign a security key of at least 8 characters in length. As an option, you can also create a guest network. Finally, we assign an administrator username and password to log in to the controller software. Once finished, the Unify controller will proceed to adopt and update the APs to the software version of the controller. For this demo, my AP is upgrading from 1.3.2 to the software controller version 2.1.0. Once the controller successfully adopts the AP, it will appear in green as connected. You can now make changes to the configuration so that it's ready to be deployed into your network. This includes channel settings, static IP, transmit power adjustments, and much more. Note